Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin to create appointment booking system in a WordPress website. This is a very new plugin. I'll show you how you can install and create appointment booking system using this plugin. Let me show you an example. The booking form layout is pretty simple. You can create multiple categories and you can also add different services in different categories. You can create number of agents and you can assign different services to different agents. Here we have different services. I'm going to select this one. Once you select that service, it will show the agents or the dentist available for this particular service. You can select the agent, then you can select the date and the appointment booking time, then confirm it. Let me enter the details here. Once you enter the details, you can click on submit. Right now, there is only one payment gateway option that is pay later, which you can pay on site. Soon, an online payment gateway option will also be available in this plugin. So I'm going to select pay later and the booking is completed. So the booking system is pretty simple. Let me show you how does this look on the admin side. This is the admin dashboard. It will show the performance of the last 30 days, revenue, appointments, cancellation, new customers. Here you can go to the calendar and it will show the appointments on the calendar. Also, you will see two different appointments here. You can go to appointments and it will show all the appointments listed. You can change the agents. You can also change services. You can create categories and services under each category. So this is a free plugin. The name of the plugin is Bookster. And in this video, I'll show you how you can install this plugin and how you can create the appointment booking system in a WordPress website using the free plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to install a free plugin for the WordPress appointment booking system. Let's go to plugins and click on add new. The name of the plugin is Bookster. So search for Bookster. So this is the plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. So this is the free version of the plugin. So we are going to work only on the free version of this plugin. So when you install it in the left hand panel, you will see the option Bookster. Click on it. So initially it will go through a setup wizard. So let's go through the setup wizard. Welcome to Bookster. Default time slot. This is the time slot for the appointment booking. Current date is set to 30 minutes. You can change the time. And whenever someone books the appointment, it will be marked as pending. The status will be pending. And these are the options pending or approved default phone country. Currently it is set to United States. So I'm going to keep it as it is. You can change the phone country. Default items per page will be five items, 10 items, 20. These are the formats, time format, 12 hour or 24 hour. And this is the date format, year, month, day, month, day or year. I'm going to select this one, day, month and year. Now these are the restrictions, earliest possible booking time will be no restriction, let's uh, change it to 6 hours and the latest possible booking time, let's change it to 1 month, so they can book up to 1 month. Currency is set to US dollar, you can change the currency and this is the currency position, dollar sign then the currency amount, keep it as it is and click continue. Now this is the time schedule, the working time schedule. You will see the time slots that you can select. So it will start from 8 a.m. and let's make it 1 p.m. And then we have, let's make it 1 p.m. Then we will add a break of one hour and again start from 2 p.m. to let's say less than 9 p.m. All right, so you can see that there we have two different time periods, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m and 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. So there will be a gap or a break of one hour. This is for the Monday. If you want to copy the same, you can simply click on this and apply to every day. So I'm going to apply to every day. So the same time will be added to all the days. And here I'm going to delete the time for the Sunday or mark it as off. 
so there will be a weekly off on sunday you can also change the time for a specific day let's say i want to reduce the time slot for this one all right so for saturday we have 2 pm to 6 pm so this is the time schedule click continue now here you can create different types of services and the category so let's start with the category here let's consider i want to create appointment booking system for a dentist so let's create one category this will be just like general category save it and let's add a service under the general category let's say general dentistry so this is one of the service that you are going to provide you can also add description all right this is the theme color you can change the color from here i'm going to keep it as it is the price this is the service price let's say this service will cost 90 dollars and the time duration for this particular service is 30 minutes you can also add buffer time let's say 10 minutes 10 minutes after or let's make it five minutes before and five minutes after you can also add image let's add image for this one i have some sample images i'm going to use one of the images general dentistry and click save so we have created one service let's add one more service here name of the service will be let's say dental crowns under general category you can also add description theme color and let's make it let's say 200 dollars and time will be 60 minutes before time let's add five minutes five minutes click save let's add image also you can click on it again and change the image save it so this is about the first category let's add another category let's say cosmetic and under this one i'm going to add another service and let's say cosmetic fillings is the name and the price will be 150 dollars service duration will be 45 minutes let's add buffer time save it so we have got two different categories and three different services let's add image for this one also save it now let's click on continue and this is about agent now we are going to add agent or in this case you can say the dentist so click on the image i'm going to add one image here and the name of the dentist will be let's say john doe email phone number all right so it is going to create one wordpress user also you here you can add the priority of this particular dentist active public or private so let's keep it on active public here you will see available so this dentist will be available for all these services here you can also manage the time schedule for this particular dentist days off you can also add the days off from here if you want to add any holiday for this particular agent you can add the holiday let's say i want to mark this date as the holiday so i'm going to mark this one as holiday all right so these two days will be holidays all right let's click on save and let's add another agent let's add the name phone number priority let's say two available for all these services let's not add this one dentist is not assigned for the cosmetic schedule same schedule will be applied you can also mark the holidays for this agent click save so we have got two different agents or the dentist click continue all right so we are on the final stage and here you will see a booking form page is created and this is the short code if you want to add this booking form on any page you can use this short code customer dashboard page so let's click on this one add a booking form page so it is going to create a page and the name of the page will be booking and the short code is already added let's click on publish and let's view the page all right so this is how the page will look we have service selection then agent or you can say dentist date time contact checkout and information so if i select this one 
you will see two different options here for the agents both the agents or the dentist will be available for this particular service let's go back and let's select this one and for this service only one dentist is available all right so i'm going to select this one and now i'm going to select the date you can see that the pricing is also added here let's select this date and this is the time slot i'm going to select this one so we have selected the date and the time slot let's confirm it and after that we can add the name last name email now as of now i'm logged into this page so that's why it is taking the email address from the wordpress user i'm going to open this one in another browser all right so i have opened this website on another browser in incognito mode where i'm not logged in let's select this one the dentist select the date time confirm it now i can enter the name all right now let's click on submit as of now there is only one option that is pay later it will be on-site payment system soon there will be a paypal payment integration click on pay later and the appointment is booked you will see the details the date time this is the agent or you can say dentist and this is the final amount that needs to be paid now let's go back to the website here this is the setup wizard let's click on two boosters so it will go to the booster dashboard and this is how the dashboard will look it will show the last 30 days performance revenue appointment cancellation and new customer you will see one new customer is added as we have booked one appointment here and these are the options calendar this is the calendar day view change it to month view and you will see one appointment is booked here and these are the details if i click on it it will show all the details of the appointment now here you can go to appointments and you will see one appointment if you want to approve it you can simply click on that appointment and from here you can approve the appointment and save it then you will see agents and these are the priorities of the agents you can customize the agents from here you can change the settings let's go to services and all the services are here if you want to make any changes you can click on it and make changes to the service available these two dentists are available for this particular service if you want to add new service you can click on add new service or new category customers it will show the list of customers this is the first appointment here if you click on it it will show the details of this particular customer and these are the general settings you will see the same setting that we saw in the setup wizard this is the schedule holidays you can also mark holidays then permissions these are the permissions agent permission here if you enable this one agent will be able to edit the appointment time and status and these are the customer permissions you can enable or disable these permissions and next to that we have payment option as of now only one payment gateway is available that is pay later or on-site payment customize here you can customize it steps content now here you will see service selection this is what it is written here instead of agents we are going to change it to dentist so here they can select the dentist dentist selection date and time contact let's name it as contact details check out confirmation and need help call us now all right so this is how you can customize the form save it and let's go to add-ons so these add-ons are available right now only taxation add-on is available calculate tax rates for the service and appointments if you want you can install it here you will see paypal payment gateway and sms notification via twilio so these add-ons are still not available they are coming soon you can also add service extra option coupons discount and fees group booking themes design toolkit all right so this is pretty simple appointment booking system so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.